Hey guys, this is Super Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Mogurt file in Adobe After Effects. And so if you're wondering what that is, a Mogurt file is a motion graphics template. We'll be making a reusable template for use in Premiere Pro. So we're going to be taking properties from our uh, file over here, and we're going to be putting them together in a different file that can be opened and edited over and over in Premiere Pro. We're going to be focusing on basically like the source text, the uh, logo fill, and the background fill, putting them in our essential graphics panel and exporting them as a new Mogurt file. So if I scrub through my timeline here, you can see that uh, it's a simple animation. Basically, there's a fade on in the text, you know, over here, and we're also going to have a fade on with the scissor, you know, if we have time. Very basic stuff, but you can do more advanced techniques with this, but uh, yeah, this, these are the essentials. So like I mentioned, Mogurt uh, stands for Motion Graphics Template. So this technique is super useful for making animations and sequences that need to be similar but not identical. Think title cards, lower thirds, video intros, credits, etc. Uh, you can also use Mogurt files for speeding up projects where you need a quick graphic template but don't have the resources to make your own. Another common uh, scenario with this is when you're working with multiple editors on a show you know, or a project and you need to maintain consistency of the graphics. So Mogurts allow for a single point of control over the template but you can let each editor change common elements like text and color and size, opacity. And yeah, there are sites online that have stock Mogurt files, so you can even like download those and customize them to make it your own. So speaking of, we're gonna be using this simple file here with the text and the logo, and you'll be able to find that down below in the description. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing is let's open up the Essential Graphics panel. So let's head over to Window and Essential Graphics. So the first thing that we do here is we're going to set this, make sure that it's set to main comp. We're going to make sure that it's set to main comp over here. So it's going to be drawing on the main comp where we are right now for its properties. So let's name this template scissors mogurt file. We're going to be explaining the other uh, buttons in the panel over here as we go along. So the next thing let's do, let's click solo supported properties. And what that just did is basically it's saying all the properties that we can export in a Mogurt template, we're going to show you where they are because not every property can be uh, exported, but like a lot can, as you can see here. So now this is basically to show you what options you can uh, plop into your uh, template over here. So let's go down to the main text, boop, 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 text here. All right. And we're going to be clicking and actually, for this one, let's do right click on source text and add property to central graphics because I want to show you more than one way to add it. And the reason why we did this basically is this is so we can edit what the text actually says. So in this case, essential graphics allows you to individually select properties of an object and export them as part of the uh, template we've been talking about. There in Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, we can update them to suit whatever project you're working on. That's why it's a great method for like, like I said, intro cards, you know, credits, etc. Let me show you to organize this stuff. So go down here, let's do add group and let's name this main text. And then we're gonna drag and drop that into main text. And this is useful if you have multiple um, properties of an object that you wanna be like exporting in a template. We're gonna be keeping ours pretty simple, but now you know. Now I'm gonna repeat this with uh, the ta tagline over here as a review, but if you think that you got it, you can uh, skip ahead in the, the timeline. So yeah, over here, source text, right click on that, add property to essential graphics, add a group, call that group tagline, click and drag the tagline text. There we go. Now let's name this property tagline text. And over here, let's name this main text. I know that it has the same name as its group, but it's basically the only element in there for now. So I think it's all right. Now let's select the scissor logo. So let's head down in the layer stack. Let's find our scissor. So you can see under its effect, it's got a fill. That's what's giving its, it, its color. And the reason why um, I set it up that way is because this, for this illustrator layer, the easiest way to both change its color and to edit the color in a Mogur template is to use a fill effect. Rather than like drawing out a shape here and then, you know, trying to uh, adjust the fill up in the, the top toolbar, you know, just drop a fill effect onto it and that'll, that'll do ya. 
So let's click and drag color into essential graphics. That's another way to, you know, drop stuff in here. Important thing to mention is click on the color, like the color, the, the word color itself, not fill, because fill contains a couple of different uh, settings. So you want to grab the pr specific property itself that you wish to change in the template. Now, another effect I applied to the scissor logo is the transform effect. And the reason being is that if you have the transform effect applied, usually when you are making like this Mogur template, it ignores your keyframes and that kind of thing. But if you use a transform effect, you're gonna be able to more or less keep your uh, keyframes, but also be able to have that point of control. So let's click and drag opacity, drop it in here. There you go. And now you can see that with the slider over here, I can control the opacity of that scissor logo. So like before, let's make a group, call it the scissor, the scissor group or something, scissors. And then we will just put those properties inside. I'm gonna name this scissor color or like scissor fill color or something, just so I know what it's referring to. I'm a big believer uh, in, you know, try to keep things organized, especially if you're working in a group with other people because they gotta know what uh, you were doing too. All right, finally, let's do the background fill. Here we are, like before, click and drag, get that fill right over here. And let's name this uh, BG color. All right, great, we have this whole thing set up. So finally, we're gonna export this thing. So yeah, we gotta save it. So now After Effects is asking you, where do you wanna save this? So you have a couple of options. You can save it to your local drive. So, you know, a folder in your uh, computer local templates folder, which is kind of stored within your um, Adobe files. I'm gonna be choosing uh, my Creative Cloud stuff. So I personally have a folder, um, it, you know, as you can see, Noble Desktop After Effects stuff. That's where I'm gonna put it. Um, but you can pretty much put it nearly anywhere on your computer. And the keywords are important uh, because especially if you're working with a lot of templates, you're like, okay, where's everything? I don't usually have a lot of templates, thankfully, but I am gonna put in a couple of keywords. That way I can search them within my own library. Scissors and logo, I think. I'll, I'll agree with that. So let's hit okay. And now let's head over to Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. So now we're gonna show how we've exported our file, our Mogar file, and we can update it here. So let's get over to Window, Essential Graphics, and you'll notice in this program, the Essential Graphics panel looks different. And hey, look, there's our Mogur file. Now, if we had a lot more, we can uh, type in the search bar here. Let's type in scissors and bam, our keyword uh, works. So click and drag your Mogur file right into your timeline here and give it a moment. Look, it works. Now you'll notice that the animation of the text is uh, still present, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things we can do to edit the rest of this stuff. So select your Mogur file. It automatically goes over to the edit uh, panel, um, sorry, the edit options in your essential graphics panel over here. But if not, you know, just click there. Now you'll see here are all the properties that we introduced. So now we can actually update this stuff. So now I think you're starting to see what I mean by that this makes it really easy to use templates and also work with a group on a uh, consistent project. So now let's update the text that we've added to our essential graphics. So let's uh, change that to Barber Bob. That's gonna be the, the newest kids show on PBS. That actually doesn't fit. So let's just change it to Bar Bob. There we go. Barber Bob, his thing is called Bar Bob. And the tagline text and cut your hair. There we go, there's a reason I did not go into marketing. And now let's change the, yeah, let's change a couple of uh, other things. So now I can adjust opacity, by the way, if I don't want the scissors there. You know, I can have them fade in and out like that. I'm like, yeah, I want it, you know, a little softer. I want it at maybe 50, maybe I'll be putting like something else behind it. And the fill color, you know what? I'm like, I'm not feeling this blue color. I think Bob the Barber would really like more of a warm, warm, warm tone for his logo. So let's change, you know, the color over here. And you can see that these again are all the properties that we've added within After Effects. There we go. That's actually <laughs> not, not a step up, but we have changed the graphics. So that's what counts. 
But yeah, you see basically like I can change the color, I can change the scissors, the opacity, because I've added those and set them up within After Effects. So that's that's what we're getting at here. You can change this in Premiere Pro and you can export the same, you know, you could uh, use the same template over and over and over. So yeah, that's how to make a Mocha file. So with this technique, you're going to be able to really speed up your workflow. You don't have to spend hours making animations for every part of your project. Now you can either download a template from online or even make your own for reuse. Whether you're using Mogart files for your video intros, social media posts, or client work, they're a great way to cut down on like extra time. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make your own Mogart template in Adobe After Effects. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, like always, let us know in the comments. Tell us about any projects you're working on or any topics you'd really like us to cover. We, you know, we read everything, we, re we respond to everything, and we love to hear your feedback. So yeah, this has been Sapar Zines for Noble Desktop.